So today I'll be trying out this interesting new leg mask from Nair. So normally when it comes to hair removal, I am a waxer. I've been doing it since the age of 20. I am now 45, so I've been doing it a long time. There's actually parts of my leg where the hair has been scared away. It no longer grows there. And they're kind of a uh, patchy looking and I was actually planning on waxing my legs this weekend but um, I saw this at the drugstore and I thought I would give it a try instead. So this is the Nair Hair Removal and Beauty Treatment Leg Mask Exfoliate and Smooth. They had another version of this which was the Brighten and Smooth. So I picked this up for $12 Canadian. Keep in mind we're always a little bit higher price point up here and they give you 229 grams of product. I'm really not sure what that translates to in ounces. We're on the metric system up here. What can you do? So I have searched the internet high and low for information about this product and I don't know what's going on with Nair but they have yet to update their website so we're just going to kind of wing it. So I'm just going to read the description on the packaging. So on the back of the packaging it says, who says masks are only for your face? Not us. Give your legs the attention they deserve with this hair removal and beauty treatment. Nair leg mask gently removes hair and stubble leaving you with smooth beautiful legs for longer. 100% natural clay and seaweed helps to exfoliate and moisturize your skin for legs that are touchably soft and radiant. Read warning section before use. Okay, will do. Okay, it says do not use if you've experienced an adverse reaction to hair removal lotion or cream in the past. Um, okay, irritation or allergic reaction may occur with some people even after prior use without adverse effect. Okay, well that's comforting. Do not use on irritated, sunburned, inflamed, or broken skin. Okay. I'm only going to be using this on the bottom half of my legs because uh, on the top half of my legs I have some like war wounds from my neurotic cat. She is a lap cat and unfortunately badly needs her claws clipped. So for this test we're only going to do like from the knee down. It also says on here do not use on face, around eyes, in the nose, in ears, Oh God, we're getting dirty here. On the naughty bits. I'm not sure why anyone would want to use this in their nose or in their ears, but you know that warning label was put there because somebody tried. Um, keep out of reach of children. Okay. So for ingredients, there is mineral oil, which is not the best for hydration, but it's not the worst ingredient either, but it has been known to leave a residue on the skin. There is calcium thiglocally, which is your hair removal ingredient. Um, there is kaolin clay, which is known for absorbing oils in the skin, and it can be a little bit drying. There is glycerin, which is your skin replenishing ingredient. Glycerin doesn't really hydrate your skin, but what it does is it holds water up against it, and this leaves it feeling hydrated and moisturized. And there is also spirulina in this, which um, is an antioxidant, but it can be really stinky. The only way to describe it is it kind of resembles a swamp. It's basically, um, it's swamp algae is the only way to describe it. It's really potent. It is a good antioxidant, but it just has a really foul smell to it. Oddly enough, I don't smell the swampy smell, but what I do smell is the hair removal ingredient. All right, so I'm gonna, I really should be doing this in the bathroom, but um, I'm going to do this here. So I'm just gonna change the angle of the camera so you can see me applying this and then we'll go from there. Welcome to my patchy pasty legs. Again, I really should probably be doing this in the bathroom, but oh well, what can you do? This is where my evil little cat decided to assault me. So from here up, we will not be applying this. Actually, if you look closely, you can see scratches all over my legs. So the texture for this is like pretty thick. It does have that Nair sort of smell to it, that chemical type smell, but it also has like a cucumber type scent to it too. So the leg mask is on. Uh, I had to waddle to the bathroom to rinse the residue off my hands. So that was interesting. I have no idea how I'm going to get this off in a graceful manner, but I'll figure it out when that happens. So the time is 2.41. So I am supposed to leave this on for 10 minutes. 
So I'm not going anywhere with this stuff on. I figure the best approach is to sit still and not move for the next 10 minutes. So I will see you in a bit. Time is 2.51. So I'm just gonna go and try and waddle to the bathroom because uh, walking normally isn't gonna happen with this stuff on my legs. And then I'll be back with my thoughts on this leg mask. So both legs are all rinsed off now and they're rinsed off without any issues. Um, I don't have any, there's a little bit of a slight burning, which I sometimes get with these Nair products, but I don't have like any crazy redness or anything like that. I'll insert some clips here so you can see. So although there's kaolin in this, this didn't dry down. I thought it might dry down completely, but I think the hair removal product that's in here prevented that from happening. It had that mild smell of the hair removal in here, but there was something in here, possibly the spirulina, that kind of toned down the hair removal smell. Like I didn't find it to be as overpowering as most Nair products. Just one word of caution though, while I was rinsing this off, I noticed that there was a really slippery residue on my legs and it actually ended up all over the tub. I recommend if you're gonna try this to be careful, it turned my tub into a bit of a slip and slide. I was hanging on to the edges while I was rinsing this off. So despite the hazard of rinsing this off, my legs are nice and soft and smooth. And the formula itself is surprisingly moisturizing. I don't think I'm gonna ever give up my waxing 100% because waxing for me is one of those short-term pain for long-term gain sort of thing. I like the fact that it lasts six to eight weeks rather than having to shave every other day. But as an alternative hair removal product, this did a pretty good job. So I would reach for this again, but it's not something that I wanna use permanently for hair removal. I prefer the longevity of waxing. So if you have any other questions about this product, just leave them in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.